yes we are back we are back so so back today welcome to the lit news channel where we deliver lit and exciting news all the time yes all the time every single time you understand got some really good stories today for you guys that i think you guys will appreciate and you guys will like our first story starts out pretty crazy all right and it is in regards to a uh, an amusement park in North Carolina that apparently had some issues and I'm going to turn it over to Dre for the play by play on that. Take it away. Yes. And in today's crazy story, we have a roller coaster shutdown in North Carolina uh, after a man on social media discovered that there was a deadly crack on the ride and he actually ended up saving a lot of lives with this discovery in the Carowinds amusement park in North Carolina it was a, a crack on the Fury 325 roller coaster and it was discovered on the ride while people were actually on it the person who actually called it out was a man by the name of Jeremy Wagner okay he actually posted to Facebook a few days ago and said that he discovered uh, a crack in the roller coaster and once the uh, officials were notified at the amusement park they actually uh, temporarily closed down the ride. Now, a spokesperson for the Carowinds uh, Amusement Park, which is located right outside of Charlotte, told a lot of news outlets that uh, the park's maintenance team is conducting a inspection of the ride and uh, it will be closed while it's being inspected. And also, uh, through further investigation, it was seen that a 911 call was made regarding this issue so thank god no one was actually harmed or you know worse in regards to this whole situation that is the positive side of all of this i am a happy happy camper now mind you i did spend a little bit of time in north carolina myself so your story does do uh, do my heart a little bit more extra justice i lived you know outside of charlotte however i lived outside of you know i lived in the on the outskirts of the major towns a good story is a good story this definitely qualifies so shout out to jeremy wagner for catching that very spot on by you back to the studio yes that is something crazy um i'm glad once again that no one was injured thank you for talking about that story that that is a very very crazy story but again no that's what we deal with all right lit and exciting news here all right but anyway this next story of course is based right here in the great city of philadelphia okay you guys know every time i come to you guys i have to give you at least one story that comes out of my own city all right it just it's just i'm just gonna do that it just is what it is. We're going to cover that right now. And in today's story, it was, I did find, did, did a little bit of digging. Uh, there was a 35 year old uh, man in Philadelphia who was named Jermaine, who climbed a burning 19 story building to rescue his bedridden mother. He heroically scaled the building while battling an injured hip. And he really exemplified the power of love and sacrifice with this uh, amazing feat that he was able to pull off. The building that he was climbing was a West Philadelphia apartment complex, went up 15 stories, defying all odds to reach his, his mother. Found his mother on the balcony. She was safe from the fire. It hadn't reached their floor yet. Obviously, he was unfazed by it. Climbed down the building using fences and railings, and he bravely escaped with only his mother's safety in mind. That is really, really 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 good news um i'm glad that he was able to do that that is some true spider-man level stuff right there but i'm glad that he was able to get his mother out of that situation and good on jermaine all right good on jermaine but anyway that's gonna do it for this story back to you in the studio well i will tell you this next story is definitely one that'll just make you go oh and that is the story of a team of window washers who decided to do something very, very nice for the children at a hospital in Pittsburgh. Take it away. This story brings me a lot of joy, okay? Now, it's not in Philadelphia. It's, you know, outside of it, okay? It's uh, in Pittsburgh, but it's still in Pennsylvania. Just adds a little bit, a little bit more oomph to this story while I'm reporting it. It is a team of window washers, okay? They dressed up as some of our beloved superheroes who bought joy and excitement 
to the young patients at UPMC Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh. This is an annual event aims to brighten the spirits of the patients. Now, while the window washers themselves expressed their delight in participating and giving back to the community. The patients obviously loved it. As you see, there are, you know, they dress up as Batman, Superman, Spider-Man, Captain America, and they wear the costumes while they are washing the windows. It was even said that sight of these real life superheroes prompted one young boy to ask his mother if they were actually real because he just couldn't believe it all right that is definitely uh something that if you're not ready that can definitely give you a little bit of a tear in your eye i will say to those workers you, you, those window cleaners give them a raise as soon as possible if it hasn't happened already but respect to those workers it's definitely not an easy job being a window washer when you try to make your day a little less bleak by doing acts like this it makes it all worthwhile seeing the smile on kids faces that is just just amazing but anyway back to the studio and you know i really don't want to have to shed tears in the studio i really don't want to have to do that you know i just I, I just can't you know i got a new microphone and everything i don't want to drop tears on it you know i got all new stuff i'm really not trying to have to do that you know why do you got to bring me stories like that that's just gonna fill my heart with just so much love and positivity today you know why you got to do stuff like that almost forgot that we actually do have a story for the celebrity corner so before we get up out of here we definitely have to make sure that we speak on the celebrity corner take it away in today's celebrity corner story the late great chadwick bozeman he is set to receive a post hummus posthumous i guess uh, Hollywood Walk of Fame star. will receive a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2024, part of the distinguished class of 2024. Now, the class was chosen from hundreds of nominations by committee during a meeting held on uh, June 16th, and the finalized list was formally signed by the Hollywood Chambers Board of Directors on June 21st. In addition to Chadwick Boseman, other notable inductees include uh, Dr. Dre, Michelle Yeoh, uh, with great admiration, the late Chadwick Boseman will receive a star commemorating his remarkable contributions to the entertainment industry. Alongside him, the iconic soul singer uh, Otis Redding will also be honored with a star. Okay, so that is definitely so, so well deserved. Man, the way he put his soul into his work, knowing his health was getting worse and worse, just was crazy. I mean, he was doing movies, and no one knew no one had any idea even people in the uh, acting world who worked alongside him other actors and actresses had absolutely no idea this was going on this is just an amazing thing congratulations to chadwick bozeman and his family definitely a great great thing that is a great story in today's celebrity corner so back to you before i start crying man that is you know what that is a great, great story. Uh, congratulations to Chadwick Boseman. Awesome thing for the committee. Do that's just the right thing. It's just the right thing to do. You know, shout out to Chadwick Boseman and his family. That was just something that I honestly didn't see coming. And I'm glad that there's still some good things being done in this crazy world. But anyway, that is actually going to do it for our stories here today. All right. But be sure to always tune in okay you never know when we're gonna be dropping and listen this is the lit news channel okay where we deliver lit and exciting news all the time it may not always be factual but damn it we're gonna make sure that it is that's gonna do it and we are signing out peace